This little device looks like something out of a sci-fi movie, but what if I told you that this could actually boost your brain power, improve your vision, and help you sleep like a baby? This sounds kind of crazy, right? But the science behind red light therapy is absolutely mind-blowing, and in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down all the details. How can red light be used to protect your eyes from screen damage? Why are NASA scientists using it in order to speed up healing? And could this actually be the secret in order to improve focus and get better sleep? We'll stick around to the end of the video because by the time we're done, you may not look at light the same again. If you're like most people, especially in the hustle work culture here in the United States, you spend hours a day staring at screens mindlessly and all of this screen staring actually drains the mitochondria within your retinas. The retina is the back layer of your eye and is responsible for allowing us to see the world around us. And as you continue to stare at these screens with a bunch of blue light that comes in, it can damage these retinal cells, depleting the mitochondrial stores, and can lead to blurry vision, dry eyes, and even age-related macular degeneration. Here's the crazy part. A study from the Journal of Gerontology discovered that just three minutes of red light therapy exposure per day in the eyes increases overall vision by 17% in individuals over the age of 40. I'm gonna say this again because it is so wild. Just three minutes a day of this red light therapy into the eyes improved vision in adults over the age of 40 by 17 percent why does this happen well the red light actually recharges those retinal cells in the back of your eye which helps them process light more efficiently you can think of it like giving your eyes a quick recharge like when you plug in your phone as the battery's getting low this red light essentially helps recharge the retinal cells in your eyes now, it's obviously a bit more complicated than that, but for all intents and purposes, it's just recharging your eye battery. It's kind of gross trying to plug something into your eye. Ugh, it's weird. This isn't just theoretical. We've seen this in studies. I've anecdotally seen this as well with some of my patients who have reduced eye strain at the end of a work day by just simply using this red light. So if you're over the age of 40, if you're losing your vision, if you wanna protect it a little bit more, I would definitely consider doing this. This is where things get even more interesting. Your brain actually loves red light. Near infrared light between 810 and 850 nanometers actually penetrates your skull and stimulates an area of the brain known as the prefrontal cortex, which is a part responsible for memory, focus, and decision-making. Elite athletes and high performers are now using red light in order to improve overall levels of focus, increase reaction speed, and enhance learning. So if you ever feel like you may be getting some brain fog, red light therapy might just be for you. Raise your hand if you've ever struggled to fall asleep. I did like two nights ago when you're trying to have good sleep hygiene and not scroll on your phone while you're in bed, but it's really difficult and you're up for hours and hours. Well, what if I told you that red light therapy is actually something that you can use in order to help improve your ability to not only fall asleep faster, but stay asleep. Now we've all heard things about blue light and how it damages and ruins our sleep cycle and how it's largely responsible for us not being able to fall asleep quickly. On the somewhat opposite end of the spectrum is red light and it does things that are quite a bit different than what blue light does to our bodies. A study published in the Journal of Athletic Training actually found that athletes who used red light therapy before going to bed had increased levels of melatonin production and had deeper sleep overall. There's also loads of anecdotal information out there on the deep dark internet that talks about the benefits of red light therapy, especially using red light only about 60 to 90 minutes before you want to go to bed. 
If you want to sleep better, I would definitely consider reducing the amount of blue light exposure that you have overall and increasing the amount of red light exposure about 60 to 90 minutes before going to sleep. So we've covered vision benefits, brain, memory, focus benefits, and even sleep benefits, but here are a few more bonus benefits about red light therapy. It has been used and is currently being studied for wound and tendon damage, which is currently being used by NASA scientists. It stimulates the production of collagen, which can help boost your skin and allow you to look a little bit younger. And some studies may suggest that it even helps stimulate insulin sensitivity and reduce fat loss. These are all pretty powerful things, right? But how do you actually get started with red light therapy? Well, you want to buy a reputable brand that gives off the appropriate wavelength of this red light therapy. And I would recommend looking between 600 and 900 nanometers to start. You wanna keep it approximately six to 12 inches from your skin and start with sessions of about five to 15 minutes per day. Of course, like anything, you have to use it consistently in order to see results. And again, this is just one tool in your tool belt for overall health and wellness. This is not a magic bullet or a one-time use and it'll cure cancer or all of your physical ailments. It's just something extra to consider that may boost your health overall. As always, before you start something on your health and wellness journey, I would consult your local healthcare provider just to run things by him or her to make sure that they're on par with what you're talking about as well.